I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. I will soar. I will fly. I will be everything I can be on this day and the next. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to the Aquarian Adepts, my platform to become your spiritual server. This is your sword tarot reading for today, March 13th of 2018. Let's see what we have in store for today, and let's see how you will soar today, how you will fly. Okay, interesting. So the target cards are actually going to be the Four of Pentacles or the Miser. We have this person, this woman who has built this barrier between her and her peers and she's guarding her treasures. There are some things that we do have to guard. There are sometimes we do have to put up these protective boundaries, but this card's also signaling that there are things that we might just be holding on to. We have to find the right things to hold on to. We have to find the right things to let go of. So let's see. What else we have going on today? All right. Cards are jumping out. Cards are jumping out. <laughs> For sensations, we actually have letting go. It was a deep let go today. All right. For the obstacles, we have... Participation. Oh, we have participation. Four of Wands. For the action, we have the mind in the verse. All right. And for the resolution, we have traveling. Eight of Wands. Right. So, what is going on here? Well, we're holding on to something, right? That's the target card. And there is something that we have to let go of. There is a deep let go today. And this is reverse. So I think we're trying to figure out what to let go of and what to hold on to. I think this goes hand in hand with the miser. But since this appears in the S spot, which means that it's something that we have to sense. So are we going to stand up or are we going to sit down? We have to sense today what we need to let go of, which I think this is going to require patience, you know, with Two energies, well, no, excuse me, we have three energies. We have, you know, we have Uranus and Aries. We have Mercury and Venus here. So we're going to want to take some type of action, but we also need to have some type of patience. And we have to realize what we need to let go of and what not to let go of. And so we have to be able to sense what that is and not just jump to conclusions. For the O, for the obstacle, is participation. So we're questioning whether or not we should, should participate in certain activities, in certain projects, in certain relationships. So really the obstacle is whether or not we overcome why we might be feeling this is an obstacle. We need to overcome whatever issues it is that we are feeling towards this. Is this project right for us? Is this relationship right for us? So the obstacle is whether or not we decide to remain obstinate or we overcome. So, and this is also known as the Four of Wands, so it's the marriage card. So it's actually a very beautiful card in that we have to realize that it's okay to actually be a part of something. I think sometimes we like to try and shield ourselves off from other people, and we like to think that we can do it all by ourselves. But really, participation is key. And I think that if we take the time today to realize all the blessings that we have around us, we'll know what and what not to let go. But we'll also see the beauty in everything, including that which we let go of today. So we just have to find what is it that we really want to participate in? The action is our mind. It's the, our minds might be very, very active today. And this does make sense. We have a lot of interesting transits that are happening today. So we're going to have a lot to think about. But this is reverse. So this is meaning that we don't want to get overly stimulated with the mind. 
All right, we want to be able to allow things to just flow, but if we get so caught up in the mind, then we are going to get really bugged out, zoned out. We might feel some anxiety today, some worries, some stress, and we really can do this because, you know, when we're trying to figure out what to let go of and what not to let go of, we it's it's a time where overthinking things and trying to make everything into logic and trying to think our way through it's just not really the proper action to take. That's why this is reversed. So it's like, uh, watch your thoughts today. Observe your thoughts. But don't get overly attached to your thoughts today. And just kind of allow things to flow. The resolution is going to be that of travel. So you are, this is really more of the inner journey. And that's what I really sense. This is more of the inner journey. Although you might go on a, on a trip today. Maybe you actually do book a trip somewhere or you think about booking a trip somewhere or you just take a day trip. You take a spa day to yourself. But what I see this as is a day of inner travel where we travel to these inner parts of ourselves that we probably have not visited and we confront these fears of letting go. We confront these anxieties, these dark spots of ourselves. We confront why why don't we want to let go of certain things, certain people, certain um, ideas, projects, beliefs, and why we feel that we might be... What, we're, what I'm getting is this whole, we, we wonder that if we let go of these things, if something bad is going to happen. It's almost like if we don't let go of things, we're doomed. And if we let go of things, we're doomed. So you have to let yourself out of this corner. You have to get yourself out of this spiritual prison because that's really going to hold you back. You have to allow yourself to go on the inner journey, go on the journey and just be, participate in life today, okay? Just participate in life. Don't get too caught up in your mind. Allow th no, just allow things to just go and flow naturally. Be patient, and you'll know what to do today. You'll know how to let go and just embrace radical trust this week. If you didn't watch my astrological weekly forecast, that was the theme I put for this week: is embracing radical trust, and that's really what this reading is also about. It's about embracing radical trust. We are going through some very intense times right now, a lot of intense alignments in the stars and the planets that they are making. And it can be it can be overwhelming. But I promise you that if you just take the time to nurture yourself, go on that inner journey, quiet the mind, participate in life, appreciate all that you have, have gratitude for what you have, you will be okay. Really what I see this as is a relinquishing of old fears and dogmas and beliefs and anxieties and doubts that have hold you back and embracing courage and confidence. That's really what I'm feeling here. Anyways, that is your sword tarot reading for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and check out my other videos for other kinds of content. Check out my social media links below. And of course, remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and yahoo Smile often. I refuse to believe that I'm just only human I'm a product of God, you know I'm more than human I can overcome anything cause I'm more than human My objective is changing lives cause I'm more than human I'm more than human